What's going on guys? We are back again and we are going to be continuing this run of talking about different TV shows that I personally have watched that I've wanted to review and I never got a chance to review. Like I said, this a lot of these shows that I'm talking about that I've either talked about briefly on the channel or I've never really gone into full detail onto the channel because I, you know, I watched them or I forgot about them way before I even got to be on YouTube right before I was even on the channel and there is one show that I remember watching that I still enjoyed watching that I really you know I, I don't see the reason why it was taken off but again maybe it just didn't do well and we are going to be talking about Moonlight the TV series that was a vampire drama cop show that was pretty much I would say almost like Lucifer in a way because we got uh, Alex Olagan before he was on Hawaii Five O. This is where I was really first introduced to him. You can watch this on uh, Apple TV or on DVD if you want to. But it stars him, Jason Doring, uh, Sophie Miles, and Shannon Sosmi, a whole bunch of other uh, characters and actors. But overall, it is centered around Mick St. John, who Alex plays who is a P.I., but also a vampire. He is a vampire. He was uh, turned, I would say, in the 20s or 30s. I can't remember the exact uh, uh, year, but he was turned pretty much by his wife at the time. He was married. His wife was a vampire. She it was extremely old. She was uh, turned, I would say, during the French uh, Revolution or the French Renaissance. I, I can't again. I don't remember a whole lot of the history, some of the characters, but he goes on a uh, case and he meets the character Beth, who he begins to have a love interest for, who. He wants to know who, you know, wants to tell who he is and how he knows of her and how he's known her for so long. And they go through these different cases and him trying not to reveal his uh, secret to her, showing that he is a vampire and also the time frame of how long he is a vampire as well as also all these other things and her not only trying to deal with her feelings towards him but also keep his secret as well as also make sure that any kind of vamp vampire side as well as the police side or the investigating side is uh taken care of now again this is i would say if you mix i would say lucifer with angel a little bit that's the best way i know how to describe this tv show and there was a lot of drama a lot of randomness i would say because it's not your typical vampire they go out in the sunlight but it drains them they can uh you know super speed hearing smell all the things that you know we know vampires to be um i believe you can still kill them through sick to the heart uh you know holy water all this other kind of stuff you know it's the same thing this is different there's a lot of things that they use the same in moon moonlight but they also use it differently i think the story was very well good but I, again i don't think it was properly used to i'd say its degree at the time especially on the network that it was on i don't think that it was <clears throat> very well done because i want to say what was on on cbs nbc something like that and again, it was a great show. It was. It was a really good show. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great, interesting way to perceive vampires, especially one that was a PI. Again, it kind of felt like Angel in a way. And also taking different characters and actors that are different actors on different shows and try to see how it works. Again, I think that this show had a lot of potential, but it was cut really short. I don't think it was given... The full reins that you would hope for. Again, it's to everybody's own perspective if you like this kind of thing. If you don't, you don't, you do, you do. Again, I felt like that this show was cut back. I felt like it was really cut really short. I don't, I think it was only good for one season, didn't really go further than what you would hope for. And again, I felt kind of cheated out of this because, again, it felt like it was a great show, drama, thriller, action, adventure, any kind of, you know, regular things that you would want in a show to be, and it just felt like that it was kind of cheapened in a way. It could have been a little bit better at some point. It could have been, I would say, times when you felt like it could have been better, it was better, or times when you felt like it could have been just a little bit 
uh, improved, it got improved, and just the story is what really kept me interested, especially the story between Mick and his ex-wife about how she turned him, why she turned him, because he became very infatuated with her at first, then they got married, and then of course she turned him, and then it just, things went crazy in the story, and then it shows how Beth is, uh, you know, I would say different, uh, not really different, but more more to the lines of how she's connected to Mick more than she realizes, as well as his wife. So it's really interesting. Um, again, if you guys have never heard this show, go check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. If you guys are new to the channel, always consider subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys, as always, on the next one.